What's up, y'all? This is Rachel Wolf from Wolfpack Arts, and I'm an Oakland muralist. So some of the work I have downtown, I think one of my favorites is on the Tribune Tower on 13th Street. That's a dancer. It's like the same woman seven times transitioning from her African ancestry into the present day. And then I have a piece on 17th and Telegraph on Youth Radio um, called Our Liberation, which is based on Eugene Delacroix's painting of the French Revolution but switched over with characters from uh, Oakland who are two friends of mine. Yeah, so I worked with ABG Gallery on the uh, temporary project that went up on Kaiser and then it eventually got moved to uh, Liberation Park, which is out in deep east Oakland. I think that Afrofuturism is putting ourselves into a future that we've typically been written out of in common sci-fi and futurist visions. And it's a place of liberation where we can create a world that exists outside of the space and time and boundaries. So Afrofuturism is a practice, um, you know, psychologically and artistically of projecting ourselves into the kind of future we want to create. Yeah, I mean, I became the artist that I am in Oakland. Like, I feel like I really became an adult here. I moved here when I was like 20 years old and I was living in my van. I've always been really dedicated to being of service in the world in some type of way. Like, I like to share my energy in some way where I'm, I'm gonna leave some positive mark on somebody's life. So I was very like determined that my work align with that, that my creativity align with that. Oakland was where I found like my creative family. I would say that after a lot of years of developing my style and being comfortable with just like mediums, like I think you have to go through a phase where you try spray paint and you try oils and you try this and you try that and you're struggling and you're like, where do I fit in here, you know? That's when Banff came into play and I found the painting competition, I entered that. That's where I met Timothy B, Zoe Boston, Andre Natty Rebel. Um, a whole bunch of us like connected there and that initiated, you know, what turned into an organization that has spun out so many other organizations. Like Oakland does have that DIY spirit and that spirit of like, all right, well, there's not a thing for us, so we're gonna make it. We're gonna make the organization we don't see. We're gonna, you know, serve the people in whatever way we see they need to be served. And I became part of a group of people who were doing that, who empowered me to do that for myself. I do think that like most of my work is intuitive and comes from a space of being tapped into the public. Like I live a very public life, I'm social, I'm out in the world, so I feel like I have a hand on the pulse of what's going on in, in our world here in Oakland. To me, Oakland will chew you up and spit you out if what you're doing isn't meaningful or beneficial to Oakland. And I think that's very distinct from something like LA where you could paint some wings and everybody's gonna be like, oh, I took a picture in front of the wings. And you know what I mean? It's like, no shade, bro. But, but it has to be more meaningful than that for it to hit and for it to stick. And so I think that there's something special about the type of person either who is from here or who has gravitated here, who is doing what they do in a public way because it means that you're a part of something more meaningful generally. The beautiful thing about public art and street art and murals is that the people choose. 